Nobody makes them. Like there are a few brands that make teddy bears and they, you know, they do a, a decent job, <clears throat> but nobody digs this deep into them. And I work on them like a painting. Like, so they're, to me, they're, they're, they're sort of a soft sculpture or any kind of art project that I do, like the same kind of like concept, execution, uh, refinement. It's the same no matter if it was this or an illustration or a pair of jeans or a footwear project. It's all the same process. It's just the process, it, um, the finished product is a different thing. But uh, I think once we discovered um, deconstructing the shoes and reassemble them as a, as a teddy bear, like that was like, that brought more of my professional world into the teddy bears. Like always have deconstructed clothes, clothing items or, you know, home items into bears, always like, found like very you know, expensive or high-end or beautiful fabrics and materials. But when, when the, the concept to deconstruct a shoe, I was like, this is, this, this is in line with who I think I am or this is in line with what, who I'm selling as a creative person. What I like about the Casio brand is a few things. One is I love the nostalgia. Like I remember when the Casio calculator watch came out, like that was the biggest thing ever when I was in, I think, seventh grade, right? So that was a big deal. Um, I like how the G-Shock sub-brand has evolved over the last 30 years. I think the concept is brilliant, you know, make this tough, durable rubber watch with this LCD technology um, that's fashion forward. Like nothing looked like it when it came out. So I thought, I think that's, that's brilliant.